Welcome back to Krendar's Adventures. So I'm just finishing up feeding the last of the humanity points to her. She needs 30 and I've given her 28 now. And that will give us a shortcut to an important area. And the shortcut is needed for a, a, a reason you'll find out in a minute here. There we go. There's another higher rank I can get to as well, but it's the shortcut I really wanted to do right now. Promise me you'll take care of yourself. Oh god. Tears, yes. You are correct. How do I... How do I upvote your thingy? Oh well. Let's talk to you now. You speak the tongue of the fair lady. Well, do not be rash with your pride. I've yet to earn my trust. If you try anything funny with the fair lady, there will be hell to pay. Yes, you can kill her, by the way. You can kill pretty much anybody in this game. It doesn't make it a good idea. I don't think there's anything I want to buy. Prove what pyromancy flame, but I can do that elsewhere too. There is no time for think only of our fair lady. There is nothing to accept. You should be. Oh well, there's nothing there that I need to purchase from you. I'm a bit confused though. The shortcut is supposed to be open. Maybe I can open it now. Actually, let me. Tune my magic. Let's see. No. Where's the one we just got? These ones. Okay. I would need another spell slot because it takes two slots. Chaos Fire Pillars. That sounds pretty nice. And there's 20 uses of it? That sounds pretty great, actually. Hmm. Oops. Actually. Maybe I'll do this for now. It's probably more useful than the previous fireball I had on here. Okay. What time is it? Okay. Now, I think this is the shortcut. Why is not open? Maybe that's not it. up real quick. My apologies. Um, Okay, looks like it's a lot later than this. Okay. It's a shortcut later. The main point being that uh, I'm going to meet up with um, our buddy Solaire a couple more times. And we're, there's a certain spot of the game where something very bad will ha and tragic will happen to him. 
So we have to get there before him so we can kill the thing that will do this to him and save him. So the shortcut will enable us to get there before he does. Alright, now with all that said, uh, let's see. I now have choice of places to go. I think normally, I think the catacombs is probably the best place to go next. Let me think. I don't think I can pull off going to where uh, going to the ruins of Isolith yet. I guess I could try it though. But I don't want to risk it with this many souls, so. Back to the Fire Link Shrine. Now to the catacombs. Back here. Oh, got a little nap. There's supposed to be another dark stalker. <laughs> or I should say, King C. Uh, I don't know what they call the other guy. There's another primordial serpent. Uh, I think he's called Dark Stalker Kath. I don't think he's called King Seeker. But I don't know. I don't know where to find the guy. I never saw him last time around. I just read about him. <laughs> you guys don't like fire, do ya? Normally a slashing weapon wouldn't be ideal on these guys, but... But, um... Yeah, they don't seem to... Too fond of the fire. And this the damage on this weapon is about 80% fire. 20% damage. So. Like that. Oh. These are getting up from kind of a longer distance on this one, aren't you? Might as well grab all the loot here. Even if we're not going to use it, we can still pawn it off. Feed it to Framp. Here's a big boy. Whoa! One body just went flying. Okay, that's the catacombs down there, but I want to finish looting this place first. We're gonna be seeing a lot more of these guys soon. I'll tell you that right now. Actually, we're not even gonna be able to finish the catacombs without uh, without an item from Isolith, but we can at least go pretty far through and unlink, or um, I should say, unveil some more bonfires and whatnot. Binoculars are not super useful, but they can let you get a better look at distant things. It's more of a nicety than an actual, uh, what should we call it, utility item, like useful item. <clears throat> it's more of a just for shits and giggles item, really. <clears throat> Although it has some uses for spellcasters. In the sense of allowing some first person targeting of spells. I don't think I got any souls for that skeleton. Yeah, he's getting back up. That means there's a necromancer nearby. So, it's time to switch over to my divine weapon. It's not gonna do as much damage, but at least they'll stay down. Oh god. Okay, heavy attacks are do okay. A 
Slashes are weak as hell because of my low strength and low faith. I think with the straight swords, the heavy attack has a some sort of armor piercing uh, capability of some sort. why it works so much better than the slash was. I don't know how dark this this is for you guys seeing this, but it's uh, certainly quite gloomy for me. This might be even worse for you guys. Okay, you stay down. Uh, was there any loot in here? here for a mechanism. And here's the necromancer that's been resurrecting those guys. When I was playing my faith character, my son bro, I used this sword for so long. If you have high strength and high faith, it is amazing. Dex helps it too. Almost 27 thou, okay. So I'll need a little bit more before... Before I can go through. Now I think the Necromancers are permadeath. They don't respawn. But until I've killed them all, I'm gonna need to keep using the... Using me the divine sword on the skeletons. It's not so bad as long as I use the heavy attack on it. sniped. You know what? I'm going to return the favor. Ow. Heal first. Damage can do to you. <clears throat> no, I don't want to shoot the skeleton. <laughs> okay, well, he flew into the pit. That's okay with me. Come on. Alright. Barely at targeting range. The pushback messed it up. Alright. There is an actual bottom of this canyon, I think, although it's so far down that we would definitely die if we jumped down. But there is something down there, so we might see that skeleton again. If he got rest. Okay, so we don't want to hang around there. guy. That's got XP twice for some reason. Well, souls, but you know what I mean. Where 
Where'd you go? There you are. Rolling all over the place like an idiot. Come on. Come on. What do you got? Huh? Huh? We have that, and that kind of hurt me, but... is not that bad. These guys don't do a ton of damage to me anyway, so... It's not that big of a worry. Oh! Well, hello there. Eastern Hammer. For those not familiar with it, it's a polearm version of a, of a hammer. This sword is really not ideal for us right now. Wish I had what I needed to improve this thing more. Getting the job done for now. I'm gonna have some of those big skeletons I need to use it on later though. You that jerk ass archer. Eat it. Stay down. All right. Let's see. I've got all the relevant loot from this section. Let's move on. Bloody skulls. Ow. Stabby statue. Statue stabbed me with its stomach. That guy almost got me. You're gonna use, need to use first person mode on this one. What? There we go. There's a skeleton right in front of me. Uh oh. I got this necro, so it's okay. Alright. Scimitar? No, that's no use. Get out of here. Oh, this. Okay. So the slash wasn't as bad as I thought. It's just that he was blocked. That first guy was blocking him with his shield. That's what the problem was. That guy took full damage from the slashes before he fell off. Good to know. I don't think all the statues do the spike attack, but it pays to be paranoid in this game. Gots to be careful. Now theoretically I could have come here a lot sooner, but there wouldn't have been much point because I wasn't on the... Uh, I didn't know I was supposed to be hunting down Gravelord Nito at that time. Okay, I don't want to fight you guys on this bridge. I'll lure you in here. was that? I think, I think the other guy fell off. I just got some souls before I killed this guy. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well. I'll be alright. Now, this part here... Uh, 
Uh, let's investigate this. Oh, it's just a candle on the wall. I don't remember exactly where the next necromancer is, so... I'm not 100% sure. Now this message is likely telling us about this right here. This area. Oh, crystal lizards. Apparently that's what they're called. That's what they were called in Demon's Souls. They actually came out and told you that in Demon's Souls. Oh, good. I can use the Twinkling Titanite to upgrade the Divine Sword. Good. Okay, well. I think there was another one, though, so he probably got away. I'd have to come through here a second time. Try to get the other one. Okay. This spot looks familiar. Now we'll go down this way. So I kind of feel like I should spend some souls, but I don't know. I'll keep going. Oh, hello. <laughs> Skewered. Good thing those traps don't do much damage. Silly. That's better. Back down you go. I fell down while trying to attack me like a dumbass. Alright. I should clear this place. Still got me anyway, somehow. Well then. Well, that happened. Okay, now. I don't remember where the next bonfire is. Proceed carefully anyway. I want to fall off these stairs. Oh, like that other guy just did, apparently. That does exactly. I think it's something outside, though. So the stairs end here, so I'm not going to go there. So I think that lever did something that's outside. What 
was it? Maybe it was maybe it wasn't that side. Hmm. Must have been in here somewhere. Oh, it opened this. That was closed before. Okay, now there's... It looks like stairs to nothing except... I think there's some goodies down there. But I want to walk over here first because I can actually come back from this and I can't come back from jumping down. Not easily, anyway. Oh yeah, this is where the other bonfire is. Okay. Actually, I think I should get the lever first, honestly. This is an illusion. Yeah. This is where the bonfire is hiding. Okay. Now let's use the soul of smoke. Not to be confused with dragons. Keep going to the endurance for a bit longer. You know what? Let's let's check something. My max equipment load is going to be sort of twenty-seven point five now. I think. Yeah. Slightly above that, but let's call it 27.5, uh, which means I've got two, roughly 2.5 more uh, weight I can put on. Um, it's not enough to help me here. <clears throat> I could go back to the shadow gauntlets. Or can you go up to the Silver Knight leggings? Uh, I'm not sure I want to, though. I don't like any of these options. I'd like to go up to the Helm of Favor, but I need more. I still need more. Unless... Go embraced on this one, but it's probably not really worth it. Nah, never mind. Let's not do any of that. Okay. I want to do one last thing before I end the episode here. I want to go do this drop off before I don't forget about it. Because this is the last episode I'm recording in this particular sitting. Next time I record this, it's going to be a few days later. In fact, probably not a... Whoa. Okay, see ya. Probably not going to be recording this again for about another week from the time that I'm recording this one. So, I don't want to lose a bunch of... I don't know progress. What am I talking about? Anyway. Never mind whatever it was I was trying to say. Whoa. I'm way down here now. Whoops. Uh oh. This is a little bit ahead of where I was before. 
guess that scythe is the loot reason for it. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit so I don't miss any items. Killed there. Haha. <laughs> More of you guys. Okay, there's more back here than I thought there was gonna be. Uh, but still. Just get the uh get this <coughs> here it is, necromancer is over. But still. Okay, this is the thing that we rotated. That's the bit where I jumped down for the shortcut. So now we're caught back up to where we were. Oh, see you later. Mm. There's a necromancer here who's a bit of a pain in the neck. I'm not even 100% sure how to get to him. I think it's maybe down here. Yes, there is. Oh. There's a safe pit down there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to tackle that, pit, that part next time. So thanks for watching and uh, join me for the next adventure when I get in there and we'll find out hiding in that area. See you later.